Dr. Ching Yi Lin has many titles, among them being a world class violinist. Yet her greatest role is bringing her passion for music to her students in the Bowling Green community. Our Lindsay Yates spoke with Ching Yi about life lessons she's been taught through playing the violin, and now she hopes to instill those traits in her students. She tucks her violin under her chin and begins to play. A hush falls over the audience as the notes echo throughout the room, and the music she creates with a bow and violin begins to tell a story. I came to America when I was 12 years old. Um, what seemed like a decision that my family made overnight sort of just plopped me in this country. I came here uh, knowing the letters C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and not even in correct order because I only knew it through music, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. As a sixth grader who barely spoke English, music became her voice. Being a kind of a scary position and environment has really taught me a lot. And I have to say, what really got me through is playing the violin. Now a world-class violinist who has performed in Canada, Europe, and China, Dr. Ching Yi's latest gig includes many titles, such as Concert Master of the Symphony at WKU. We follow her bowing style, okay? So, if, for example, if she bows something off-string, then all of the strings bow it off-string. But Dr. Scott, who brought Ching Yi to the WKU family in 2009, says the most impressive part of her interview wasn't her performance. In this day and age, anybody coming out of a, a major university with a doctorate in performance is going to play well, okay? So that was not the issue. Uh, I saw her teach. As assistant professor of violin at WKU, she transformed students into musicians. Before she got here, um, Western just not not so much as a music department as a whole but especially in our string department and in some other aspects we were kind of flying blind everybody had visions of what they wanted to do um, Chingy when she got here um, she had a vision of what she wanted to do and she went through all of the right channels to get there professionalism comes to mind when Stuart describes Ching Yi as a mentor and friend. He walks a very narrow line of um, being the teacher. Also in nine grade. How long is that now? But also knowing how to have fun and still be your friend at the same time because she still there's a certain amount of respect that, that she kind of demands from her students. I've um, been very strict and with m a lot of my students and um, because I, I expect them, you know, to take it very seriously. And uh, my goal has always been to uh, teach them how to teach. Despite her many roles, being named director of the pre-college strings program has been her greatest joy. You learn how to speak their language, kids' language, and you find ways to encourage them and um, allow them to express themselves. It's breathtaking. You know, my, my heart skips several beats, and I mean, the joy, you, you, cannot, it's, it's, you cannot even imagine. We noticed a marked increase in enrollment this past year, okay? So I think we went up to uh, close to 80 students in our pre-college. She hopes to instill life lessons such as work ethic, passion, and confidence. The most impressive thing is the discipline. I mean, they have to practice, and they're expected to practice. And so he practices on his own without us having to say, you need to practice, you need to practice. The ability to get in front of a crowd and to play music and to, through that music, share a story. <laughs> you don't have to not be able to speak a language to have the kind of fear that many people have. I feel very privileged to have the um, opportunity to say to these kids, you, you can do great things. And when Ching Yi performs, sometimes she closes her eyes as if lost in the music, and she seizes the moment when she dares to push past her fears. Always searching, um, for this moment where I dare to do something that I normally wouldn't do, um, to express myself in a way to say certain things that I may be afraid to say, to sort of put myself out there, really to be so emotionally involved. I think I'm constantly searching for that moment where I realize actually I'm not as scared. In Bowling Green, Lindsay Yates.
WBKO. I've heard Ching Yi play, and she is phenomenal, and she gets amazing performances out of her students. To find out more about the symphony at WKU and the pre-college streams program, you can visit our web channel at WBKO.com. As we leave you, we'd like you to remember our Jefferson Awards recipients do not volunteer their time for the recognition. They do it simply to help their communities. We'd also like to give a special thanks to our sponsors, Flora Templeton Stort and Thornton Furniture, and our partner, the Park City Daily News. As we leave you tonight, here is more wonderful music by Dr. Ching Yi Lin. Good night.